Hey guys, Jess here, and it's time for your weekly Gears recap. First up, quality of service matchmaking was deployed on Tuesday, and a lot of people were not very pleased with the results. I mean, look at these pings! So shortly after its deployment, the Coalition said they are tracking issues and are going to gather some answers as to how their new system works. We have yet to see anything on that front, though. Wednesday, we saw the start of Ranked Season 2. Stats should be live on the website, with the final Season 1 placements coming soon. With the start of the new season, their new and hopefully improved ranked matchmaking system was also implemented. A post from Octus on Reddit from a couple weeks ago has resurfaced and sparked some discussion. The main takeaway from this post is that horde map voting is unlikely to be added to the game at this point. Although disappointing, people have made it pretty clear that this is what they want, so we can only hope that this is an option for Gears 5. Speaking of Horde, the Horde Frenzy playlist was removed from public matchmaking for the time being due to an identified issue that could cause a crash. The Coalition is currently investigating until they have resolved the issue. The option is still available in private matches, though. Thursday we got a tease featuring Queen Mira and Flame Grenadiers, but then it was deleted. So Friday we were just left with the Queen. Odd. This is all going so well. As expected, though, she arrived in the latest gear packed out this weekend. The Evil Anya... Oh, oh, I'm sorry. The Queen Mira Emergence Pack will set you back 2,000 credits and give you a chance at Mira and Beast Rider? A little surprise. A new weapon scan set and an emblem. With the rare chance to get the craftable characters this month, the UIR Elite Soldiers. Queen Mira has been a highly requested character since the game's launch, so it's great to see her finally making it to the game. But at the same time, there's a lot of talk of too little too late. Negativity aside though, if you're looking to get any of these skins, you have until Monday, so get grinding. Also, just a reminder, it's not guaranteed, but the packs will probably be back out later this month, so if you miss out now, just save up for the next time they're out. The Queen also brought double XP with her this weekend, which includes all verses and Horde playlists, including private Horde matches. And that's going to do it for your Geese Recap this week. Please like and subscribe to keep up to date with our content. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.